comes in different. Because we're not recording this really for YouTube. Because we're doing, first of all, a special Let's Play, which is a Let's Play that has never been done. And I've checked this out. Not one person has done this, so I am the first person to do this. There have been two people who have attempted it, but they both give up after two and four parts. But we're going to see this through to the end. Why are we going to see this through to the end? Well, um, if you watch Durden's, he can explain like certain things better than me. But I am on a site called GameAnyone.com. I think it's .com anyway. And they, like... Do walkthroughs, so I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of this. This one's not going to be really much of a walkthrough. This is just more me telling you about this. But we're going to be doing, like, walkthroughs. And what they do, when you do, like, good walkthroughs and you check out, they'll recommend your channel and you can become a director and get more minutes on YouTube. So right now I'm still only on the 10-minute time limit, but you can go to 15 to 20 and I think Durden is at the moment on about 25 minutes. That's why he could upload a 14 minute video on YouTube before. So, we're going to be doing some stuff like that. Because you can get so many benefits from it. Like they back up certain videos and all sorts of things. So I really recommend if you are a Let's Player and you want these things backed up and check stuff. Check out that site. I'll have to put a link on the site. And I am very sorry, but we have, <laughs> you might see it on the right, the game, it only does it with Casper for some reason. It won't, it doesn't do it with anything else like Spyro or Earthworm Jim or anything. I've tried it with various games, and it doesn't do it with any other one except Spyro, but this, um, except Casper. But Casper's deciding to have some sort of weird seizure on the right there, so... I'm very sorry about the seizure, but that's going to be on every video, but bear with it. So let's begin, shall we? So, this game is a 3D version of Super Metroid, or I like to think of it as Super Metroid. And we need a green key for that door. Yeah, so I like to think of this as Super Metroid as there's no sub-dungeons, it's just one big dungeon which you have to solve puzzles in, like pressing certain switches to open certain doors or move a painting to activate another switch. As you progress through the game, you get different powers. Like now, we are getting our first power, which is the vaporizer, which allows us to turn into smoke and go through the vents to access other hidden areas. And you get other powers as you go along, and the way you get powers is by completing the painting, and each painting takes four pieces to four jigsaw pieces to complete. So, we will now begin by going to the left into our first boss room. However, ignore the boss as you cannot defeat him at the moment because we are on level one which is where you find um, tokens of friendship for the doctor and his daughter. I don't know, remember it. can't remember the name of his daughter. Yeah, but you find tokens of friendship for the doctor and his daughter and they will give you items which help you defeat the bosses. Right, so also you want to be grabbing as much food as you can. Cause see that little point score thing? You will need that bucket for later as well. Cause see that point score thing? That is your morph power. So think of it like energy. And if you don't have any energy, you can't morph. And if it hits zero, you will get a game over. So you've got to keep that constantly topped up. Because every power takes up morph points except for the smoke thing which is free so let us now begin we need to go into the corridor on oh no we still need a key for that we need to go to this corridor on the left because we now have the green key and use the green key on this door here you press circle to use the item you have selected you press um, L2 and R2 to siphon through the items so we now have to flip this switch and that will move the knight on the left which will allow us to go in the vent and open that gate once I select the smoke thing. Also you will need a lot of keys. Try and keep as many keys as you can and we'll just grab that key in the door which allows us to open both chests. And 
and here we find the second piece of the next, or the first piece of the ne next puzzle. And the next puzzle will give you the um, Casper version of the Morph Ball on Super Metroid, but we will save that for later as we are trying to find the tokens, as I said. So we go in the vent, and as you can see, we need a red key this time. So we must go and find a red key. Sorry, it just takes a while to load. That's the little bit of a bad thing about Casper. Some areas take a while to load, especially teleporting areas. But yes, yeah, so we now go down the stairs and we go into the right hand corridor, I think. Oh yes, you can check over here as well. There is a um, couple of pieces of fruit, a switch which we'll need to press for later. It won't do anything at the moment, but... Oh no, it does. It opens the door on the right, sorry. Yes, yeah, so now you go into the right corridor and through to the next room. And we can get that thing in there. Which was pointless because it was just another brass key. So yes, we now go into this room and this is where all your items are. So the two items you need are in this room. Or this set of rooms. So you want to press that and that will give us a clue. But I will talk about clues. Now yeah, like this. See that didn't make a noise. Some switches require two things to activate. So you see we have a combination of four knights and you can press them in any order and it won't work until you go hmm what's this oh wait there it tells me the combination however that is very rare in this game if you would heard me the other night you would have noticed me screaming saying this is a biased there is no map because that is going to be if you're not using a walkthrough like that like this that's going to be your one most annoying point there is no map and you'll be running back and forth a lot of times just accidentally missing someone getting slightly annoyed so we go to this bookcase and get your first item which is the book you press X to collect it it's a big book on the so we get the book and that is the doctor's present and now we must go through the rest of the house to get the girl's present so we go over here we grab a weight no, it's a key. The weight's in the room. Because you will, you might have already noticed how you use the weights. That are... And see that hole? That is for an uh, uh, ability we don't have yet. But we will be getting it very shortly. So we grab the weight. And we will show you what the weight's for later. Because we still have a couple of rooms up here. Which we need to do. So you open door number one. Push this chair to the side. And when you open the second door... That metal gate just below us opens. And by hitting the right combination, um what's the combination? Just give me a second. Cause there is actually no strategy guide for this that I've found. I think it's these two in. Yes it is. Did you hear that sound? So we now have that in, that doesn't open that. And we can go back. See that X over there? This is also another area where we need a power which we don't get till stage 2. So we go back, and as you might have noticed already, you'll know where the weights usually go, which are on the squares on the floor. So we'll press that, and just go up here and grab this weight. Now you also notice that Casper says I can't do that quite a lot of times, because you have to be in the exact place to drop that weight. If you're one pixel off, it, it won't do it. So we open the chest and we find the second piece of the second puzzle. And we head downwards to the um, switch on the right, where we will open up the gate to the garden. We can't explore the whole garden yet, but we can explore the bit we need to, to get a couple of extra items. So we drop down to the left. We get the third piece of the puzzle for the second power. We check the founding because there's some gold in there. And we get the second present for the girl, which is a rose. Who is the girl? Does it say? It's, a beautiful red it's for Cat. It is for Cat. We know the name of the girl. And now we head back. And I will say I will see you guys in part two of Let's Play Casper where we will give the items to the guys, or to the doctor and the girl, and there you go.